Hello and welcome. You're watching NDTV 24/7. I'm Shanakshi Chakravarti. The big story we have been tracking through the day. The Congress Chief Sonia Gandhi was questioned for six hours on Tuesday by the Enforcement Directorate in an alleged money laundering case connected to the National Herald newspaper. She has been summoned again on Wednesday for round three of questioning. TMCs, that is Trinamool Congress's Partha Chatterjee, has been sent to the ED custody till the 3rd of August. And Farooq Abdullah charged cheated in a Jammu Kashmir cricket. Association case. Arvind with more, more details. Today's focus was very much regarding the alleged transaction that have taken place between Associated General Limited and also Ing India Limited. Also, very importantly, this particular 92 crore drone that was given by the Congress Party to Associated General Limited. That's something that the agency wants to get more details because everything has happened during when Sonia Gandhi was the president of the Congress Party. Because all these particular loans that are being investigated by the uh, Enforcement Directorate took place between uh, the period when Sonia Gandhi was the president, and that's why the agency wants to know whether as the president of the congress party whether she was in the know of the developments when this particular 92 crore was given by the congress party to associate a general limited because according to our sources that particular figure 92 is not part of any of the accounts of books of the congress party and that's why they wanted to know when was this particular loan given was it given in single tranche or whether there were several such transaction and why it's not part of the book those are the questions that the agency wanted to focus today and tomorrow also the other transaction that have taken place between yil and also ajil The Congress's Srinivas Bivi manhandled as he and other Congress leaders protested against Sonia Gandhi's questioning today by the Enforcement Directorate. The Delhi police cracked down at this protest at Rajpath outside Parliament, taking away all the MPs except Rahul Gandhi. Finally, detaining him as well. They were attempting to walk to Rashtrapati Bhavan to protest the alleged misuse of central agencies against opposition leaders. सारे सांसद आए हाँ और उन्होंने महंगाई की बात की और बेरोजगारी की बात की और ये हमें यहाँ बैठने नहीं दे रहे ये ये जो पूरा सिस्टम है ये कंट्रोल ये पूरा पुलिस का सिस्टम है आज अदानी जी और अंबानी जी चला रहे हैं इसको ये सब अदानी जी अंबानी जी की सेना है पहचान लो Congress President Sonia Gandhi was questioned for over six hours by the Enforcement Directorate in the alleged National Herald money laundering case. Mrs. Gandhi was questioned for over two hours on day one of the questioning last Thursday. The detained Congress MPs were lodged at Kingsway Camp Police Station in North Delhi. They've been demanding a Parliament debate on price rise, Agni Pat scheme, GST on food items, national security, and the falling rupee. And as Sonia Gandhi was questioned in Delhi, senior Trinamool leader, a key aide of Mamata Banerjee, Parth Chatterjee, brought back to Kolkata after an anti-money laundering court sent him to ED custody. Central government shadu, our rajya gulo chor, rajya gulo ache bolle tumra beche achu. Maharashtra to chere diye chhe lorai kotte pari ni bolle. Ami ekono mona kori. Kop bolche Maharashtra kore chhe, airport jharkhan korbo. The Trinamool Congress, which has been vocal against what it calls misuse of central agencies to target opposition parties in opposition-ruled states, has said that there will be no action against Partho Chatterjee based on what central agencies allege or leak. Any action at all will follow only after a court pronounces him guilty. The BJP brushed off the opposition's allegations that central agencies are being misused by it to target political opponents. सही उपयोग करके सही जगह पर पहुंची एजेंसियां तभी इतनी नोटों की बंडल मिल रही है. इसलिए पब्लिक साहब वोट लिए थे. 21 में जीत गए बल्कि 21 करोड़ लूट लेंगे. ये अधिकार किसने दिया आपको? After over six hours of questioning on day two, Congress President Sonia Gandhi has been summoned again by Enforcement Directorate in the alleged National Herald money laundering case for questioning on Wednesday. With camera person Gauri Prasad, this is Arvind Gunasekhar for NDTV.
Meanwhile, uh, the Supreme Court will pronounce a verdict on petitions challenging the process of arrest, seizure and investigation by the ED under the Prevention of Money Laundering Act on Wednesday. Altogether, 242 appeals have been filed on the issue. The petitions have challenged the provisions of the law against money laundering. Sukirti so, with all the details. Uh, well, uh, this was an entire batch of petitions that the Supreme Court had been dealing with. Uh, this goes up to 242 petitions, including uh, some very high-profile ones filed by politicians like Karthi Sambram as well as uh, former uh, Maharashtra Home Minister Anil Deshmukh. They had this kind of white powers that the ED gets under the new amendments to the PMLA Act, which uh, gives them a lot of uh, new powers uh, and makes the bail conditions more strict. Uh, in under these new amendments, they will not have to give the ECIR copy or which is similar to an FIR copy that will not have to be given to the person who is being arrested. It makes the definition of money laundering and proceeds of crime very, very broad. Uh, statements that have been made by the accused during the investigation, those would be considered as evidence in the trial. All of these conditions, these uh, new changes were challenged by this entire batch of petitions, uh, which was heard by a bench led by Justice T.M. Khanvilkar. Uh, these were lengthy hearings that went on for several weeks at length. Uh, the center, on the other hand, had defended the changes in the PMLA Act, saying that uh, it has led to several uh, crores worth of money uh, being attached in the terms of assets. Uh, this money pertains to uh, fugitives like uh, Vijay Malia and Nirav Modi. Even money involved uh, with certain terrorists, that had also been attached because of the kind of new amendments that have been made to the PMLA Act and it has said that stricter norms like these are absolutely needed with the kind of cases that the country has been dealing with. Hmm. Uh, however, all eyes now on the top court uh, when this Justice A.M. Khanvilkar led bench will pronounce its verdict tomorrow on whether these amendments will continue or those will be striked down. On day 7 of the parliament, it was disrupted. 19 opposition MPs have been suspended from the Rajya Sabha for the rest of the week for disrupting the session on Tuesday. The decision to suspend opposition MPs from Rajya Sabha was taken with a heavy heart. They kept on ignoring the chairman's appeals. That's what BJP's Piyush Goel said. The latest round of suspension comes a day after four Congress MPs in Lok Sabha were dealt with similar action for the entire monsoon session ending on the 12th of August for holding placards inside the house despite warnings by Speaker Om Birla to behave. It is against the well-established parliamentary customs and conventions. I request you to please go back to your seats and allow the house to function. Since you are continuously disrupting the proceedings of the house and not listening to the orders of the chair, I am forced to name you. The junior parliamentary affairs minister started to read out names the government wanted suspended for the entire week. Mohammad Nadeem Haq, Ms. Dola Sen, Shrimadhi Shabda Chetri, Shri Abir Rajan Bishwas, Dr. Shantan Hussain, Shrimadhi Mausam Noor, Ms. Sushmita Dev. We once again repeat and request that the house be allowed to function smoothly and the government will be ready to discuss any issue, including price rise, on the floor of the House. The question is that the House has taken a serious note of the misconduct of... The chairs suspended 19 of them, but for one week, they include Sushmita Dev, Dola Sen, among many others. Nadimul Hakji, M.M. Abdullah Ji, El Yadav Ji, A. Rahim, Badiraju, to be suspended from the services of the council for the remainder of this week under the rule 256. I, we couldn't care less. Yeah, this government has suspended democracy. Modi and Shah have suspended democracy. What are you talking about, MP? Lokane Parliament MP Kisli Chunke Pejia, the O Amadmi, Gri Madmi, Majdur Admi, Odi Galki Tijabi. But did a Modi, Utana Shah Hukamran Hugia. On Monday, four Congress Lok Sabha MPs were suspended for the entire session. The standoff is over the opposition demanding for a discussion on price rise, unemployment, among other issues. 
19 members of parliament, the highest ever in terms of suspension in the Rajya Sabha, a new record. This has now become a new trend of suspending members of parliament in both houses on a continuous basis, clearly making the standoff between the government and the opposition worse. With camera person Pooja Arya, Sunil Prabhu, NDTV. And the first day of India's biggest spectrum auction for 72 gigahertz of 5G airwaves worth 4.3 lakh crore ended with four rounds of auction. All four applicants, Ambani's Reliance Geo, Mittal's Bharti Airtel, Vodafone Idea and an Adani group firm actively participated in the auction of the 5G spectrum. Auction mein bahut acha participation hua hai. By end of the day, four rounds complete hue hain. Aur abhi tak ka jo response hai, us response se lagta hai ki purane jo hamare revenue ke records rahe auction mein, usse jada revenue is baar aayega. Uh, abhi tak ka andaza hai, karib karib 1 lakh 45 hajar crore ka revenue aane ki sambhavna hai. And uh, the International Monetary Fund cut global growth forecast again on Tuesday, warning that downside risks from high inflation and the Ukraine war were materializing and could push the world economy to the brink of recession if left unchecked. The IMF has also cut its gross domestic product or GDP growth forecast for India for the current financial year by 80 basis points to 7.4% versus 8.3% earlier. And a girl student allegedly died by suicide in Tamil Nadu's Kudilore district on Tuesday, becoming the third class 12 student to die in the state over the past two weeks. Parents of the girl are farmers and police said they attempted to, com to complete the final rites without informing the police. This comes just a day after a class 12 student from Thriluvar district was found dead at a hostel. Third case of a 12th class girl dying by suspected suicide in Tamil Nadu in less than two weeks. This one at a home in Virudachalam, Kadalu district, around 300 kilometers from Chennai. <laughs> this tragedy unfolded even as autopsy was underway in the case of another class 12 student who was found dead hanging at a hostel yesterday in Thiruvallu district, adjoining Chennai. No suicide note was found. Her parents suspect foul play. There was heavy police deployment near the school and home to avert any untoward incident like the riots that followed the death of another class 12 student in Kallakurchi on the 13th. In a note, that student had accused two teachers of humiliating her over her academic performance. Five people, including the principal and two teachers, have been arrested. Around 300 people have been arrested for rioting. The last rites of the girl is just being completed. Uh, the situation is under control. Uh, we would say that uh, children have to remain very strong and uh, they should learn to face and handle their issues uh, boldly and firmly. Uh, they should talk out their issues with the parents, the teachers, their friends and their peers. Chief Minister M.K. Stalin today appealed to students yet again against suicidal thoughts. Class 12 has always been a stressful year and now all the more with many more entrance exams to be cracked for college admission. Experts say mental health of students has gone for a toss ever since resumption of in-person classes after a long phase of online learning and now there is an urgent need for corrective intervention. In Chennai, Sam Daniel, Findy TV. 
In yet another incident of moral policing, members of a right-wing group allegedly barged into a pub in Karnataka's Mangaluru on Monday night and disrupted a party that was organized by students of a private college. The activists belonging to Bajrangdal reportedly asked the staff to stop the event, alleging that the students were indulging in some illegal activities. Take a look at this report. Almost a repeat of what happened at this very venue 13 years ago. Bajrangdal activists barged into the pub around 8 p.m. on Monday. Heckled students allegedly hurled abuses and forced the youngsters to leave the premises. It was then called Amnesia, now renamed Recycle the Launch Pub. <laughs> In early 2009, during the regime of B.S. Yadirapa as the Chief Minister of Karnataka, a group of 40 activists of the Sri Ram Sene barged into this pub which was then called Amnesia and beat up a group of young women and men claiming the women were violating traditional Indian values. Over the years of investigation, around 26 arrests were made and four were absconding, citing lack of evidence and after victims turned hostile, in 2018, a judicial magistrate acquitted 26 of the 30 persons accused in the attack, including Sri Ram Sene founder Pramod Muthalik. <laughs> the latest moral policing attempt by right-wing activists is said to be in reaction to a video that went viral of two college students caught kissing on camera. No case has, however, been booked. In Bengaluru, Shrija for NDTV. And in a dramatic video and a viral video on social media of a car being washed away, another video of a man being washed away from Eluru in Andhra Pradesh. Some legal trouble for Bollywood actor Ranveer Singh after he posted pictures of himself from a nude photo shoot that took the internet by a storm. He posted that on his social media. Now an FIR against him by the Mumbai police. Ranveer Singh uh, has been booked under three sections of the IPC. The FIR is over obscene pictures in the paper magazine, a magazine that is called Paper. Ranveer Singh has been booked for hurting women's modesty. The FIR is against Ranveer for sexually explicit act and on to some sporting headlines and action injury rules Neera Chopra out of Commonwealth Games the ace javelin thrower Neera Chopra has been ruled out of the upcoming Commonwealth Games in Birmingham due to injuries sustained during the World Athletics Championships according to a statement by the Indian Olympic Association And uh, India remembers the Kargil heroes on the 23rd anniversary of Kargil Divas. Uh, Kargil Vijay Divas, Captain Vikram Batra, Lieutenant Manoj Kumar Pandey, Major Rajesh Singh Adhikari, Major Vivek Gupta and others were among the 527 brave soldiers who gave their lives for the country. It was on this day, 21 years ago, that the Indian Army recaptured all the Indian posts in Kargil that had been occupied by Pakistan's army. Since then, July 26th has been observed annually to commemorate the sacrifices made by the soldiers in this war. And here is us paying homage to heroes, to the heroes of Kargil Vijay Divas, remembering the Kargil war hero, Captain Vikram Batra. The, my company's success in Allah, this is the more. The guys were so highly charged up that they're wanting that some more mangas should have been there and we would have got the more chaps. He was the bravest of the brave, whose slogan, Ye Dil Mange More, defined the spirit of some of India's bravest sons. Soldiers who fought some of the most intense infantry battles since the Second World War. For his bravery, Vikram Batra was honored 
with the Paramvir Chakra. At the height of the Kargil War, the NDTV team met the young captain just days before he perished, fighting to liberate the impossible point 4875 in the Kargil Heights. Just days earlier, Captain Bikram Batra and his men had liberated point 5140. His men knew him as Sher Shah and the enemy had heard of this name as well. This is what he told us before that final mission. It was like that in case we would have stopped at any point of time, we knew that we would have been the pinpoint target for them. Either we would have been there or they would have been there. Saluting the bravest of the brave indeed. With that, it's a wrap from all of us on this bulletin. But stay tuned to NDTV for all the latest.